All I can say about greyhounds are they are the sweetest creatures on the face of the earth. So there's no other kind of dog as far as I'm concerned, it's just greyhounds. She's a little love worm. She's the perfect dog. They are the most absolutely greatest dog in the world. Oh yeah, we really love the dog. I'm Beverly Sebastian, Executive Director of the National Greyhound Foundation. We find homes for retired racing greyhounds. I'd like to show you where a lot of your donation money is spent. This is a real emergency rescue. Most rescues begin with a telephone call. This one was from a kennel operator that needed me to help her save the lives of 35 starving greyhounds. When we arrived, the dogs were in terrible shape as they usually are, and they were held in a temporary holding pen. With temperatures above 100 degrees in the kennel, the dogs were dying from the heat, and soon, so oh, were the volunteers. Gosh. We had to get them cool and cool quick. All of these little dogs were infested with worms and other internal and external parasites so and needed medical attention badly. I found this poor starving mother in a back room trying desperately to feed her babies and attempt to keep her alive by her kennel owner. The result, overbreeding. Since the kennel was loaned to us for only a few days, I needed help fast. Television is the lifeblood of any of my rescues. I have to get the public involved in the plight of these little dogs. Our television education programs really work. We tell you about the dogs and you respond. Seventeen of them were supposed to have been dead Monday. And we've adopted about 25 of these dogs in the last couple of days. These programs aren't free though. They cost me a lot of money, but they save the greyhounds lives and they get the word out about what great pets these little dogs make. People like Annabelle Kane adopted two dogs and stayed to help us washing dogs. And Michelle came to adopt, stayed to work in the sweltering heat, giving the dogs some badly needed care and love. As the word got out that we were in town, calls came in from desperate kennels and more and more dogs started coming. Overflow dogs that other rescue groups couldn't take. Dogs that would have to be destroyed if we didn't take them. I needed another kennel and I needed it now. Tom Bowersock of the Sanford Orlando Kennel Club loaned us the use of one of their kennels to hold 50 dogs. My prayers were answered. Now, to get to work. I hit the phones, getting the other things we needed to care for and get these retired greyhounds into homes. Merrill Babcock was so upset with the condition of the dogs, he couldn't look in the kennels. But bless his heart, he donated 10 tons of air conditioning. Tense Company donated the use of a brand new generator for the electric. Hundreds of pounds of dog food was donated by Neutro. Bell South gave us telephones and volunteers helped with the dogs. As we prepared the kennels, the waiting dogs were ecstatic. They knew they were saved from certain death. And if you don't think these little dogs know they've been saved from death, you're wrong. Look how gorgeous these animals are. They're gonna be put down because they're finished. No way. They know, and they know I'm going to find them home. I'm gonna find someone just like you to give them a new life. Dr. Ken Sundberg came out to the kennel to examine and treat each little dog. At a cost of almost $200 for each dog, he examined them, gave them shots, and set up appointments to have them spayed or neutered. Man, I was spending my husband's money like it was going out of style, but I was determined that these little dogs would be medically cared for before they were released to their new owners. But my faith carried me through. I knew you'd be there to help me. We'd adopt two dogs, and four more would be delivered. Kennel operators were desperate for our help. After adopting over 50 dogs in the first week, we still had a full kennel and needed more space to keep over 100 more dogs that were waiting. We needed wider television coverage. This time, we were lucky. ABC and CBS came to the rescue with top stories, and it was free. It was the newscaster's way of helping the dogs, and again he responded. These greyhounds like to run around, and they still have a lot of life left in them, but they're no longer fast enough to race. Oh, you're pretty thing. You're pretty thing. Yes, they're pretty thing. Candy is one of 140 dogs that have been retired. She was lucky. She got adopted, but most of the others did not. The other little dogs, if enough people come, they'll adopt them, and if they don't, well, 
they'll go to a better world. Like an idiot crying, but they'll go to a better place. The hardest thing I've ever done in my life was having to walk into a kennel, choose only a couple of dogs out of a hundred to rescue, knowing in my heart that when I left, the rest would be put down. That was 10 years ago. Today, it's a lot better. But I made a promise to those dogs then, the ones that I left behind, that I would find a way to make a home for every greyhound. No greyhound would be left behind because they had a broken leg or they were ugly or nobody wanted them. No greyhound would be abandoned because an owner couldn't afford to keep it. Every greyhound would have a place that they could stay until we could find them a home. During the 10 years since I made that commitment, I've worked to make changes and to gather people around me that cared about these greyhounds as much as I do. We have more greyhounds retiring in Florida than any other state over an estimated 3,000 this year alone. I've been searching for a way to adopt more greyhounds. There's so many adoption groups out there that are small and underfinanced that work 24 seven, saving the lives of these little dogs. So I tried to find a way to help them and for me to adopt more greyhounds. I remembered my promise to the greyhounds I made 10 years ago, those I left behind. And I came up with a new program called Voice of the Greyhounds partnerships. I partner with Greyhound adoption groups all around the country and together we're able to adopt more Greyhounds. I'm good with television, they're good with adopting dogs. So together it's a win-win situation. More Greyhounds adopted, adoption groups getting rid of their dogs, and you receiving a wonderful loving pet into your home. Imagine a world where no greyhounds are abandoned. Imagine a world where they've all got a forever home. Imagine the joy and unconditional love you can bring into your own home when you adopt one of these little greyhounds. She starts out good and she sinks. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew greyhounds couldn't swim, but this one can't. <laughs> Doesn't it make your heart feel good to know that your donations have helped me save the life of so many of these little dogs? Your donation of $10 a month helps get one of these little dogs on its way to a new home. It provides food and shelter and medical help and transportation. So if you want to help me, pick up the phone and call me. And while you're picking up the phone, would you consider supporting two of them? $20 a month will mend a broken leg like Lucky. $30 a month will buy a new eye for a dog like Jack. It means a lot to these little dogs. It means life in a lot of cases. If you want to help me by giving a pledge, pick up the phone and call me now. The number is on your screen or you can go on my website and that address is on the screen. Or if you'd rather write me a letter or send me a check, you can send it to the Greyhound Foundation, Post Office Box 638, Homosassa, Florida, 34487. So come on and join us in the celebration. Adopt a Greyhound and become a winner. They really love hugs and they love you to hug on them and, and play with them. I called Beverly and I really wanted a Greyhound because they're great dogs. They're the best. <laughs> she got me in trouble. <laughs> I'm so thankful for all the blessings these little dogs have brought into my life. They give such unconditional love and joy. I want to share that joy with you. They're such special dogs for special people. I got the dogs, you got the phone. So pick it up and call me right now and tell me, I want to adopt one. I'll make the commitment with you. Adopt one of these greyhounds. If you can't adopt one, your donation will save their life. In this show with a kiss for me. Oh yes, that's it. That's what it's all about. <laughs>